Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. Chat GPT Search, will it change everything? Chat GPT Search just came out and this might replace Google. Up until now, we did not have the ability for Chat GPT to search the internet in real time, but that changes as of now. ChatGPT Search acts as a web browser. It kind of looks like Google and functions in a similar way, letting us interact with AI and the internet in a different way. In this video, I'm going to show you really quickly what's new and how to use it. All right, so we want to come to ChatGPT or click the link in the description below and you'll be prompted here. And the first thing you want to click on is this little internet icon here and it automatically pulls up search. You can see that there are these different prompts that it's giving us in order to search the internet just like if we're searching Google. Guys, this is going to blow your mind. Let me just look up what is the best seat in Dodger Stadium. And instead of just giving us a basic kind of text answer here, it pulls up different images from the internet that it determined as the best seat in Dodger Stadium. That is really, really cool. And you can see the different sources that it pulls from. It shows the citations of all the different sites that it scrapes. Live in time, pulling this information in seconds. Instead of all ChatGPT, it was trained up to a certain date. It no longer has that. You could access the internet in live time, which is absolutely amazing, just like Google. So this is really, really cool. Let's go ahead and say, I want some patio furniture. Help me find some good ones. As you can see, it is now searching the web and pulls up pictures of these different patio furnitures. Then obviously it's going to show the citations of these here, also shows the sources. Let me go ahead and just click on this one because this one looks really cool. That's great. And now this will take us directly to being able to purchase this. This is an amazing new way that we're going to be interacting with the internet. Instead of coming to Google and searching something like, find me the best patio furniture. So this is cool, but there's no AI features. I want something that will suggest the right patio furniture for me with AI base and that kind of information that I give it. So let's now say something like, I want something under $500 and I want an umbrella. As you can see, there's a typo obviously, but disregard that. It's now searching the web, boom. Here we go, it's pulling up these. These look really cool. Pulls us straight to Target. Let's look at this $100 for patio furniture. And there we go. I mean, I said it was $100, it's $165, but still under my $500 price point. That's cool. Let's go to Amazon. Guys, this is going to completely change the way we use ChatGPT. Now let's ask it something like, find me the best date spot in Bend, Oregon searching the web, and here we go. It pulls up this map, that is awesome. We could see a list here of all the places, or we could see the map like, let's click on this right here. McMinimans Old St. Francis, that is a good date spot, that's pretty cool. We could then get directions to it. It'll then pull up Google directions there. They go directly to the website. We're going to even call them directly from our web browser instead of ChatGPT. That is so, so cool. The fact that we could just look this up in ChatGPT, and then let's say I want something that is fancy and nice. Give me expensive places. Here we go. So for a more upscale and memorable date night band, Oregon, consider the following dining establishments. There's Ariana, there's Boss Taurus, the Blacksmith, Okay, so where's the blacksmith on the map? It's right here. You can obviously see on the map or we could just go to the list and scroll through these. These are really cool. I absolutely love this and the fact that it takes us directly to the website. That is an awesome way to interact with ChatGPT. This is, I mean, this is awesome. All right, so another use case that is absolutely going to change everything for us. Let's say, for example, I travel a lot and finding flights that are good for me is a really difficult thing to do, just for an example and say I'm trying to book a trip to Thailand. So I'm going to ask this to find me cheap flights or the best flight path in order to get to Thailand. So 
So for example, I'm flying to blah, blah, blah from this day to this date. Help me plan my trip and find flights I should take. I want to save money and I might want to stop in Tokyo for a few days before the 6th in order to break up my travel. So as you can see, it's giving us suggestions of what we could do. But let's actually say, show me the flight. Okay, so you can see it's even pulling the price of the flights for a round trip. So let's go straight to this. We can see it's taking us to Google, Google Flights. That is really cool. The fact that it's able to search the web and actually find these different flights that are within our price range is absolutely crazy. And this is going to completely change the way that I personally book my trips because I found it really overwhelming going to Expedia or going on Google and searching all this by myself. So typing this into ChatGPT, telling them when I want to go and how much money I want to spend or something, it automatically plans it for us. All right, guys, there we have it with ChatGPT's new search functionality. What do you think of this? I think this is going to completely change the way we interact with the internet. I think this is way better than having to interact with Google. I want to know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Before we end this video, let me introduce to you AI Collective. Experience the future of AI content generation. It's time to meet the Avengers of AI and never pay for AI again. Unlock creative genius you never thought possible with 50 plus AI in one dashboard. Boost creativity, refine ideas, gain new perspectives, and create content like never before with ease. Why all AI is in a single place? Eliminate the guesswork and deliver content with diverse capabilities, enhance creativity, improved quality, increased efficiency, flexibility and customization, error reduction, scalability, innovation and experimentation, cost efficiencies, market responsiveness, ranging from the traditional copywriting and image creation to document and data analysis to the less obvious web app development and design. The possibilities are endless and it all can be yours. Get the best answers from any AI. AI Collective does everything. AI Collective helps creators get better results for every project. So try AI Collective now. Go to getaicollective.in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.